Hi guys, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what happened on Wednesday as far as the follicle story goes. Um, a lot of you who read my blog might already know it, and if you want the better rendition of the story, go ahead and click over to my blog. The link is below. Um, my blog is probably more well written and tells the story better than how I am about to tell it. Just knowing myself, I can write a little bit better than I can speak, but um, I'm going to attempt to tell you about what happened Wednesday. So remember Wednesday, we had our first ultrasound during the stimulating shots to see how the ovaries were looking, how many follicles we have. So I went in there and I was hopeful and I was just really open-minded to whatever I was about to see. and. Um, Lo and behold, there were three, and I was just, like, in tears, laying there. And the doctor was very nonchalant about it. He was just measuring one, two, three, like, huge, huge follicles. There was one, and then there was two. One was really big. Second one was about this size, and the third one was really small. So there were three just lined up, just sitting there, just... And the biggest one, he said, was about ready to go. It was about ready to have an egg release cause, because the larger in size they get, the more ready they will be to have the egg retrieved. So he said a lot of um, fertility clinics could probably uh, have you do the egg retrieval this weekend for that big one, but we're going to wait and see and have you come back on Friday and um, have another Okay, look. so... I saw the three follicles, I was very excited, and he told me I needed to go have my estrogen checked before I left, and I, in my head, I was pregnant. I knew I was pregnant. Three is an outrageous number for me. Last time, it took us like two and a half or three weeks of stimulating shots to slowly, slowly, slowly get one follicle big enough to release an egg. This time I had three, and one of them was already ready to release an egg. And he was telling me that it looked like we would be doing the egg retrieval by Tuesday at the latest, which is like four or five days away, probably this weekend. And he was saying we were in a night and day situation compared to what happened in Pennsylvania. And it was just, I was just, I was just so like proud of myself. I was just like so like. Finally, like all of this work, everything we've gone through is paying off. Something is finally going to be easy for us. This pregnancy is done. All they have to do is get the eggs out, and one of them will definitely be fine, like for sure. So when I had my estrogen taken, and estrogen is measured by the follicles. The follicles release estrogen into your blood, so your estrogen is supposed to be fairly high. Um, the more follicles you have, the more estrogen you will have. And so he said later they would call me with my estrogen results. And so I went home and I called everyone and I reported my three follicles. And I was like, we're going to be pregnant next week. It's going to be like this is happening so much faster than I thought. And it's so easy and there's no heartache, nothing going wrong. Okay, then the doctor called um, a couple hours after I got home. And he said... I have to talk to you about your estrogen level. It was ridiculously low. It was like at a level 15, which is practically nothing. I was like, okay, what does that mean? He said, it means that what we saw today were not follicles. They were cysts. So it took me a while, but I processed what he was saying, and what it meant was that I had zero follicles, not a single Follicle. He said, with the estrogen level where it was, there's no possible way that what we that there were any follicles anywhere, nowhere. So I was like, okay. Um, you know, I kind of just put my game face on. I was like, okay. I'm I'm used to this kind of news. Uh, this is nothing new. Of course, it's going to be hard. Um, it's always been hard for us to conceive. Like. What do we need to do now? I've, I've never had zero follicles. I've had one. And I've had doctors make really, really frowny faces about just one. And to hear the zero number was just like... 
it was just like, wow, my body has actually tapped out. Like, it, I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't produce anything, and there's nothing we can do about it. So I said, all right, what are we going to do now? He said, you have two options. We can either quit this cycle altogether, just stop, and we can try again another month and see how you respond in another month, or you can double your dosage. My dosage right now of stimulating hormone is 375, um, well, not double, but almost double. You can double it to 600. The highest we go is 900. He said that their office usually does not go above 375 for shots, but um, some offices go as high as 600, but there's no proof or studies out there that 300, that anything above 375 ever changes anything. The people who take dosages of 375 have the same results as people who take 600 dosages, but he said it doesn't hurt to try. So he said, tonight and tomorrow I want you to take 600, or you can take, you have the option to take 600. It's basically like we're throwing a Hail Mary pass right now. It might work, it might do something, it might do nothing, but it doesn't hurt to try. You have the medicine at your disposal. You can use it or you can save it for another cycle. So I said, I, I kind of thought about it for a second, and I was like, oh, oh my god. I said, we are, I figured we are already pretty far into this. I've done, like, a week's worth of shots. Why don't we just keep going? I'm going to give myself 600 um, mLs, units, whatever. I don't know what it, Matt gives me the shots. I don't know what they are. I'm going to do 600, and we're just going to see... What happens on Friday if we can get a fall full out of this or not? So, here we are today. Today is Friday. And I went in to see if we had a fall, any follicles. Um, Matt came with me this time. He measured the cysts for a long time. And they talked about the cysts for a pretty long time. Then he started to measure something else. And then he was like, oh, alright. Well, I guess that's it. And we'll get back to you uh, with your estrogen level. Because he's like, it's really just based on your estrogen level at this point. I was like, wait a second. I was like, I thought this is a point. This appointment was about trying to see if we have a follicle. He's like, oh yeah, you did have a follicle. It was very, very small. Basically, basically what it came down to is he was scared to make the call and tell and say if there's a follicle or not. Um, but he said that there was really a really, really small one on my other ovary, the ovary that doesn't have the three cysts, and, um, but what we have to base it on right now is estrogen. If the estrogen comes back a little bit higher than 15, then that was a follicle. So we, I am waiting with my phone. They're going to call before 5 o'clock to tell me, it's 2 o'clock now. They're going to call before 5 o'clock to tell me if we are a go, if we're going to keep pushing for this one follicle, if it is a follicle. Or if we're going to stop and try again another month or not try again. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to see what he says. He didn't look He didn't look excited about that follicle. Because um, he was ready to run out of the room without even talking about it. Which is weird. But anyway. So that's where we are. Um, I'm okay with everything. I'm dealing with it pretty well. I'm more upset than I thought I would be. I thought I would be fine whatever way it would go. Once I was hit with the news that I would be raising just one child, an only child, it I felt really funny about it because I was always so sure in my head that we would have, Carter would have a sibling and it just feels, it feels weird because I don't know how the dynamics, I, I've never really seen firsthand how the dynamics of a family with one child works. Like, I feel like Carter would have to rely on us pretty heavily as his friends and stuff like that. I don't know how to, how that, I don't know. It's really hard to explain, but I felt, I feel really, really sad for Carter. I want him to have a sibling. I don't want him to be alone. We have this house with plenty of room. Um, we have been thinking about adoption, but 
Um, it's really, really expensive. I think it's like twenty thousand dollars or something. I haven't we haven't looked into it completely because we're still trying to exhaust the IVF option first because that's covered by our insurance and it's more affordable for us right now. Um, so yeah, that's where we stand right now with everything. Um, just waiting for a phone yes. call. Um, I will update you guys later if you would like to be updated later on where we're taking it from here. Bye.